Welcome back to Prime Time, y'all, and I'm back at it again with another toxic topic. Before we get into this toxic topic, go ahead and get your meal, your drink, your blunts, or your snack, and tell your man or sneaky link that you will call him back because Prime just dropped a new video. So, okay, baby, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, baby, today we are talking about shooting your shots, okay? Now, the reason I want to talk about shooting your shot is because I just, you know, it really hit me that a lot of gays, you know, do not know how to shoot their shot. And, you know, this could really apply to everybody. You know, it don't even have to just be the LGBT. But, you know, I'm really talking about the LGBT because I've I really been noticing that, like, a lot of gays don't know what to do when it comes to approaching a man or a, approaching a partner, whoever you approach it, okay? And it's like, come on, y'all. We cannot just keep relying on these gay apps. Like, we can't keep relying on Grindr, Jax, Tammy, Surge, Scruff, um, be okay. We just can't keep relying on these apps and websites, okay? Because eventually, you know, like, what if the internet just go down? <laughs> what we gonna do? Okay, like, what like what we gonna do? Like, come on now, like, we just can't keep doing that. Like, come on, baby. Like, when it comes to shooting your shot, it's like, put yourself out there, you know, look good. You know, every time you step outside, put your best outfit on, you'll be looking good because you never know when you're gonna meet your soulmate, baby. So, always go outside giving your best self so you can make this process of shooting your shot easier. Especially, you know, since you're in person. So, with that being said, you know, don't be going to the store, you know, which look like you looking like you just fresh out the bed, okay? You know, get yourself together, okay? So, you know, I know, like, it can be dangerous, all right? It, it can be very dangerous because, you know, as, you know someone who's gay because you you just never know who is gay as well because you know it's a lot of homophobic people out there you know just by you asking like oh are you gay you know they might get upset or cuss you out all that or even worse probably try to you know put their hands on you or you know something crazy you know i'm not trying to scare you but you know that's a possibility and or some people just might get offended or so i wouldn't even say like Ask a guy if he's gay first before you just shoot your shot. Like, it could be as simple as, hey, you know, hey, bro, like, I like your shoes. Or, hey, man, I like your uh shirt. You know what I'm saying? Or, I like your chain. Or, I like your necklace. Or, your watch. Or, your hair. Little simple stuff. Little simple stuff. And, you know, get a little conversation going. And then, with that being said, that's when you be like, you know, are you single? Don't even ask if they get or straight. You know, just be like, are you single? Okay, because I did find you very attractive, and I would like to, you know, see if we can exchange numbers. If they say yes, if they say no, cool, keep it pushing, move on. If they start talking crazy, don't even acknowledge it. Just walk out, be like, okay, cool, like, it ain't even, it ain't even that serious. Like, just go ahead and throw it away. And I know that seemed kind of scary to, like, approach somebody, you know, do all that. But it's like, come on, y'all, like, let's let some of these shinies go for a second. You know what I'm saying? Because, baby, you trying to meet your soulmate. If you really want to be in a relationship, bitch, you can't be shy. Okay? You can't be shy. Or don't be one of those people who be like, I only like when people approach me. I don't approach you. You're going to be single for a long time if you got that mindset. Like, I, you know, I don't even want to say a lot. But, you know, it's a lot of certain individuals who think that way. And it's like, y'all, we can't do that now. We can't do that, especially because, like, we scares. Like, and you might fuck around and miss an opportunity with that mindset. So, with that being said, approach if you like what you see. When you at the store and you see something you like, you just don't be like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to wait till like, one of the co-workers asks me if I want to buy this. No, but you walk up and be like, yeah, let me have this. Is this for sale? You know what I'm saying? Like, and you go up and buy. Yeah, so same thing with these men, you know, I, that's probably a bad simplification, but you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say, so it's like, y'all, I done had me a lot, a lot of great hookups just by walking up to men and asking if they were single, you know what I'm saying, or sometimes some of them might not even be gay and they just might be like, you know, I am kind of curious, you know, like, straight, they might entertain me and be like, oh, okay, you know, we, I don't have no problem going on a date with you, or I have no problem hooking up with you, and we'll do our little one thing, one, two, and that'd be that. Well, shit, we would actually be in, like, the talking stage and see if we was, like, compatible. 
push it and, you know, end up becoming fuck with buddies. You know, but any one of those is, like, good options rather than just passing up something you like because it's like I'm just letting somebody approach me. It's like, y'all, we can't keep doing it. You might surprise yourself by how many yeses you might hear. And if you hear no, y'all, it is okay. Like, I know it's hard to have rejection and stuff like that. Like, y'all, I don't dealt with rejection before. Like, you know, it is what it is. It's almost like, okay, like, but you got to take it with a grain of salt. Just be like, okay, he wasn't the one. Or like, okay, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, yeah, he was cute, but whatever. It's fine and being out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's like, y'all, shoot your shot. That way you do not miss your opportunity. All your shots will be missed if you don't shoot at all. Okay? I want to say it was a quote like by Michael Jordan who said something like that. It was something along them lines, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So go ahead, you know, go outside. You know, probably go to a gay bar. Or, you know, a bar if you trade. Or go to a bathhouse. Well... I feel like a bathhouse is a little different because who, who like, <laughs> we talk about relationships. You know, shit, just go to the store. Go to Home Depot. There's a lot of fine men in there, okay? You know, go to like a um, Menards. So, you know, you might surprise yourself. You might really surprise yourself and then end up with the love of your life. So, with that being said, I did, I did, I, I thought I had more to say on this topic but I don't think I do. I probably do. But if y'all got some more to say on this topic, leave your comments below and tell me what you think about shooting your shot. You know, stop being shy, y'all. Stop being shy. Just go ahead. You know, worst case scenario is a no, okay? But with that being said, also, also, what I need y'all to start doing is leave some toxic topics in the comments below, okay? Because, yes, I be coming up with all these toxic topics by myself, but I would love to do some of y'all toxic topics or some of y'all recommendations. Like, I have no problem doing that, okay? So, do not be shy with leaving your recommendations in the comments below. Because, unless I did it before, I'm really not going to say no. Or, unless, you know, we just going to see, okay? Just leave them below. And we went through this whole, whole, whole video, baby. I love you. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe and please hit that notification bell on the side so you will be notified the next time I upload. And I catch you, okay, on another prime time.